Good morning everyone. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks uh, today on writing articles and, and using keywords. So the first thing I need you to do is open up your Google Chrome or I should say open up your web browser. Type Google in there and you get google.com up. In your box type keyword planner or keyword tool let's go keyword tool look right down here you'll see adwords.google.com keyword planner they used to call this keyword tool and they used to make it available for everybody they have since uh, revised it and and changed it a little bit now you have to have a Google account to access it so your page when you log in if you don't have a Google account get one once you get your Google account log in and your page should look like this normally we get uh, search volume for a list of keywords or group them into ad groups but I want to show you another uh, tool search for new keyword and ad group ideas click on that and let's type in the first one I have is web pages I've written these down I've randomly written them down thinking of keywords Go here to average monthly searches and get your arrow pointing up. Go to competition and get your arrow pointing up. This makes it a little easier to read. Okay, on the keyword web pages, the first one is save web. It gets 3,170 searches a month and it has low competition. The low competition is mainly uh, dealing with AdWords, where you're on a, you're placing ads. It has a low competition, so the suggested bid is two dollars and thirty-two cents. Unless you have at least a hundred a month to spend on advertising, I would not recommend AdWords. Uh, also, too, if you do not know how to do it, uh, Google will be more than willing to show you how. Uh, they and they do a good job I, I contacted them and they they really train you well but do not do AdWords without some kind of training or instruction from somebody that does it unless you've got really deep pockets we're not doing AdWords we're doing keywords so you wanna you want a keyword of around a thousand monthly searches and you want low competition if you get into See, here's one 208,670 graphic design, medium competition. What that will do is you'll get lots of hits and you'll get lots of uh, inquiries, but you'll be competing against uh, thousands of other websites and articles and everything else, and it just makes it tougher to do. You want 1,000 to 1,500, and you want low competition. All right, let's try another one. Let's try HTML. And all we're doing is getting keywords. All right, here's real high, and this this looks good, and it's low. It doesn't even have a bid. But what that means is people are searching for it. A lot of people are searching for it, but nobody's using it as a keyword and and again you just get lost into the rankings and the and the articles and stuff and it's just it's not a good uh, keyword to use you want 1000 to 1500 searches a month if you get a thousand searches a month that's 30 a day to your website there's blogging and you can see you can you you have got to try keyword after keyword after keyword blog posts 7920th low that's still that would be t a tough keyword to use if you were a uh, well-known blogger you could probably handle that if you're just getting started I would not recommend it let's look at traffic exchanges Your article doesn't have to be written around one keyword. It can have two or three keywords in it. 
look all right here's a good one 970 exchange auto surf that'd be a good keyword 970 low that's right at uh, here's one traffic exchange 7620 that's getting a little high here's one traffic rank 1140 low that would be an excellent keyword that's going to give you 30 searches a day it's got low ranking so not too many people using it all right let's try one more and your keyword can be more than one word if you haven't noticed make money online all right here's top make which that'd be sort of tough to make a keyword out of here's 1230 online for kids see there's your keyword phrase that you probably wouldn't think of on your own let's just click on it how kids can make money online See, that's not too many searches a month. But if you're starting to write articles and you won't click people that will click on your articles, this is how you can get into keywords that no one else is using. All right, now I'm going to, I've written an article and I use the word keyword. Now look here. I should say look here. use keywords 590 keyword list 1140 and it's low that is an excellent example let's click on it list of keywords keyword list resume keyword list all of these have got uh, sort of low searches low competition but these keywords would be picked up and used quite quite a lot okay uh, we're going to go to an article that I have written now and I'll show you a little bit alright this is an article that I wrote using keyword as the keyword your article should be approximately 400 words it should be short paragraphs double space between the paragraphs any more the internet uh, crowd is not reading the articles they're scanning the articles and and writing for that you have to write for scan which means your main sentences have got to be the first sentence in the paragraph and the rest is fill in if you have a 400 word article my word count is 417 I want to aim for 20 percent of keywords so 20 percent of 400 is eight times my keyword should appear in the article it should appear in the title it should appear in the first sentence preferably the first word it should appear in the last sentence preferably the first word and then evenly spaced throughout the article let's count one two three four five six seven eight so you can see it takes time and effort to get your keywords and place them and put them in your article it's easy to write an article and a very uh, uh, moving article and not use keywords because you're not restricted to, to keywords but what will happen is you'll get people that will look at your article scan your article comment about your article but they won't click through on your article and therefore you don't make any money the object of writing uh, articles and blogging especially is to use keywords and to get and to move people to action if you're not doing that then you're blogging for fun and if that if you want to do that that's okay but if you want to make money online you have got to learn how to write with keywords well I hope this has helped you a little bit
And if you need any help at all, just contact me on IBO. Thank you very much.